Hi, and welcome to Laptop Bible Studies with Pastor Bill Brown, brought to you by Carmichael Baptist Church to just bring you a short little study in the Word of God. Join us. Today we encourage you to listen as we look at the struggle in prayer. Our primary passage will be James chapter 4, verses 1 through 3. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence, even of your lust, that war in your members? Ye lust, and have not, ye kill, and desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lust. James 4, 1 through 3. Before we begin getting into the struggle in prayer, we at least need to give a little bit of an idea of what prayer is so we're on the same page. And prayer is, though it's not our lesson to go through all of this, prayer is communion with God. And how sweet is that? Doesn't sound like much struggle there, or shouldn't be, but there can be, and we'll get into that. But prayer is not only communion with God, prayer is supplication for our needs, bringing our petitions not only for us, but to the Lord for our friends or family, whoever it is that has needs, we bring those petitions before him, those supplications. Prayer is confession also. It's a time where we confess our sin. We can confess our need. We can confess our ignorance. We can confess our need of wisdom. Prayer is also all about asking in faith. That's important. We're not going to spend a lot of time there, but it's important that we're coming, not just talking to the Lord about a wish list, but the, those are designed by faith and access to the throne of God. Prayer is having access to come boldly into the throne of God to find grace in time of need. But our focus is on the fact that prayer is a spiritual battleground. It has some elements in the spiritual realm that really are a struggle, different kinds of struggles. For instance, if you look at Luke 22 and 44, uh, talking about Christ and being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly and his sweat was, as it were, great drops of blood falling down to the ground. That sounds like a pretty intense struggle to me, don't you think? If our Lord struggled in prayer, I think we'll see that we're going to have some struggle in prayer. First thing to bring up is that prayer is limited. Now, I don't mean that prayer, the capacity of prayer is limited, but we limit prayer. This is an internal struggle. That's part of our struggle in prayer is that we limit it. We limit it or distort it or misuse it. How? How is that possible? We can distort or limit or misuse prayer, yes, because of the lust of the flesh, because of the desires of the heart, or because of worldliness in our lives. There is a fight in the flesh that Galatians talks about, that the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the fear spirit against the flesh so that you cannot do the things that you would. We have to understand that there is a struggle in our flesh that limits or distorts or can misuse our prayer and we need to be on guard. There certainly is a struggle in prayer, but let me tell you how that you can strengthen prayer. Prayer is strengthened by or encouraged by or empowered by or designed by some elements in our life like love or hope or faith or kindness or God's word or God's promises or the compassion that we feel. These are the things that can drive and design, encourage and empower our prayer. They are the very things that should drive, encourage, empower, or strengthen our prayer life. There are other struggles. We will call them intrusions and delays to prayer. 
and they are the devil, of course, and sin, and then even selfishness. These all can affect our lives, and we can see that through some scriptures and the warnings that we have. The Bible tells us about how that the devil delays or intrudes into prayer. He did it with Daniel in delaying the request that Daniel had given to the Lord for 21 days. But I want to use Paul and what he says in 2 Thessalonians, where he says in 2.18, Wherefore we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. When we look at the scriptures on how that sin can intrude. Psalm 66 and 18, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Oh, and then the selfishness of how we find that the Lord himself charges us in Mark 11:25, And when ye stand praying, forgive if ye have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. There is a struggle in prayer because there's intrusions of our problems that come into our lives. It can be by Satan, it can be because of sin, or it can be because of selfishness. Our last point in this study is that prayer is intensified in privacy. There's a need to get away. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Matthew 6 and verse 6. Prayer is intensified in privacy. Some people take pride like the Pharisees did in praying out loud in front of other people. But we need to see that Prayer is intensified. It's enjoyed. There's a time and a need for you to go in and find your closet. Find your closet where it is a private place and then shut the door. Make sure that there's a time and a place where you can be alone, just you and the Lord and no one else. One last verse for our short little laptop Bible study. That's from Ephesians chapter 6, 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. It is necessary that we find that private place, shut the door, get the world out and pray, but pray in the spirit as we learn from this scripture. Not only should we pray in the spirit, but persevere in your prayer life. We know there's going to be a struggle. There's going to be a fight between our own flesh and this, our own spirit, the new man and the old man. We know there's going to be a struggle because of sin or the lust of the flesh or the desires of the heart or if we're having some attack of worldliness. But we need to persevere, understand the struggles, and learn that victory is in Jesus. This has been another Laptop Bible Study with Pastor Bill Brown of Carmichael Baptist Church. Lord bless you.